What's up, YouTube? So today we're gonna talk about the L2D Combat Match Grade Barrel for Glocks. All the so continuing our series on looking at different types of uh, Glock barrel upgrades, we're going to be talking about the, the L2D combat barrel today. What's different about it? What's not different about it? I'm, I'm actually going to stop really talking about accuracy unless I notice that it's wildly inaccurate because I'm, I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. Unless you're just a really good precision shooter free-handed, you're not going to see a difference really between different barrels and even your OEM barrel and the different match grade barrels that are available. Now, if you do shoot from a rest, you can see some differences. Like for example, when I first started doing some barrel reviews, you know, I tested out the S3F Solutions, then I tested out Blacklist Industries. And one thing that I did notice was it took like a thousand rounds to really get that S3F Solutions barrel where it was just as accurate as OEM. Because at first I was like, wow, my groups really suck. And the only thing that was different was I was swapping out the OEM for the S3F. And you know, over time it did become more accurate and I was shooting rested positions, things like that. So unless I notice that it's wildly inaccurate, I don't really worry about it. And I gotta tell you, don't go buy a barrel just because you think it's gonna make you more accurate, guys. Honestly, the only thing that's really gonna make you more accurate is just lots of practice with your gun and some ammunition. But there are some things with a gun that I do feel enhance the abilities that you've already obtained. So for example, if you just bought a new gun and you're new to guns, keep it stock for a while. That's what I did. I kept mine stock for close to a year before I started doing upgrades because you need to understand the way the gun works and functions as it is before you start upgrading it. But with all that being said, we're gonna dive up close here in a second and talk about this. I will have a coupon code down in the description below so that you guys can get some uh, money off of this. I'm not affiliated with it. It's just something L2D Combat really wanted to do for you guys. I think it's like $10 off one of these barrels. Let's dive up close and take a look at it and see if this is something that's worth our time or not. So here guys, we have the L2D Combat Glock 19 threaded barrel. So let's take it out of the gun, look at it. This is also the L2D Combat catalyst slide with the Overlord Cerakote, as well as their suppressor height fiber optic sights with the blacked out rear. Sights are actually quite nice. So let's take the barrel out. Right off the bat guys, the first day I tested these, you know, I usually shoot low and to the left a little bit because, you know, the way I jerk the trigger sometimes. But these were shooting high and left at first. Now, I think it was because I had some sights that came loose and I didn't realize that until after I'd gotten home and realized, oh wow, my sights were coming off. So that's what had happened with there, shooting high and left. However, went back to the range, used a different gun, and they've been shooting, it's been shooting straight and narrow. I mean, like I said earlier, don't buy a barrel because you want to be more accurate. Buy it because, let's just admit it, you want one, they look cool, or you want to shoot lead or you want to shoot because they have a supported chamber here. You know, you can shoot reloads. And if you have a round that's got too much powder or a weak casing, you might, you, you know, you got a better chance of it going down the barrel than blowing up. They also have, this is the black one. This is the uh, black nitride. They also have it available in stainless steel, titanium nitride, as well as like a color changing chameleon. They also have these for the Glock 19, Glock 17, Glock 34, the Glock 43 and the Glock 26. I don't know if I missed one. They got most of your Glocks in there and they're one of the few aside from Blacklist Industries that has Glock 26 barrels threaded and non. One thing that sets these apart from the rest is the fluting that they do on the chamber here, which not only gives it like a more unique look, but it also helps with heat dissipation because you know that chamber gets pretty hot. It's also fluted down the length and then you got your thread protector here. And they have the same identical specs to every other match grade barrel that I've reviewed, except for the length of it. And let me show you what I mean. So, so the blacklist is in the middle, the insane kydex is on the right, and then the L2D on the left. And you can see the difference in length. Now, from what it's not huge, but I've noticed that when you're running a compensator, that it won't fit as flush to the front of the slide as it would with this barrel. 
Another thing that I noticed was different is on the lugs here, notice how on the edges here, it's chamfered on here, but then on this one, there's no chamfering. I don't know what that does or what that helps with. Um, they all have a solid lockup, so I'm not really sure what the chamfering or the lack thereof, I don't know if there's a pro or a con to it, it's just something I noticed. Let's talk about barrel wear. So this is my blacklist industries, right? I beat the crap out of it. I got marks all over it where the coating has come off. And let's take a look at this one. Got a little bit of chipping here of the black nitride. Let's see, obviously on the top here, and then just a tiny bit on the bottom. Got approximately 225-ish rounds through it. I, you know, I've tested this with various types of ammo and it's ran great. However, if I compare this to this uh, titanium nitride one here from Insane Kydex, it has, looks like it's never even been used and I got the same amount of rounds through it. Now that's not, that's not a uh, standard across the board. Like every barrel that I've tested has a lot of wear on it, except for this one. This thing is ran like a champ. I mean, it matches their whole form factor of all their design. Like they got a certain look about all of their products. They got a certain look to their slides, certain look to the barrel, and it looks really good going into the slide here. I haven't had any issues with this. I'm just nitpicking at this point. There's really not any cons to this barrel yet. Um, like I said, after 225 rounds, haven't had any issues. Like I said, I thought it was shooting high at first, but it was actually just my sights coming off and which is my fault, but it looks beautiful. Um, one of the pros about this also, I forgot to mention is the size of the lugs here. It gives it a more solid lockup, but then again, all match grade barrels that I've tested, I tested them all with calipers have the same exact lug sizes so and so far what do we got we got the blacklist i've also i don't know where it went i've tested the blacklist with caliper the insane kydex creations barrel with calipers the s3f solutions barrel with calipers as well as the agency barrel with calipers and all the lug sizes are identical they're all made of 416r stainless steel they all got a one in ten twist rate they all have a supported chamber. They all have polished feed ramps that are kind of extended. So yeah, I mean, I got nothing but great things to say about it. You know, so far, my, here's my opinion on Glock barrels. Pick whichever one you think looks the best. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm not gonna tell you to go out and buy a barrel because I think it's gonna make you a better shooter or anything like that. But if you wanna run like a compensator or a suppressor or you wanna shoot reloads or lead bullets, they're definitely a must. The ones that have the fluting along the length of them will dissipate heat quicker. So, you know, you can touch it faster, but it'll dissipate heat quicker on these. The ones that aren't fluted, they won't dissipate heat as quickly, but they all have solid lockup. They all perform well. I, I just, I have no real issues. I mean, if you want like a shorter, type uh, threaded barrel so your compensator fits closer i would say either go with the insane or the or the agency because those two are identical in length but guys i've i've always loved my blacklist industries barrel and i gotta say that this one performs identical to the blacklist industries so let's jump up top we're going to talk a little bit more about this and we'll talk about the price coupon codes and my final thoughts on this then we'll wrap up this review Back up top. What do you guys think of L2D Combat? I gotta be honest, it runs great. It's got minimal wearing considering the rounds that I put through it. And as you saw up close, I mean, the king of the finish not wearing right now is the Insane Kydex Creations barrel. Now that I've seen that some of the threaded barrels are a little bit shorter than others, I definitely prefer the shorter ones just because when you are using like the TBRC compensator, it will sit more flush to the muzzle. And, you know, aside from that though, it doesn't really matter to me. So it's not a big deal. It's just a tiny little nitpick thing. Let me know what you guys think. I like it. I mean, I think it's, uh, here's the hard part, right? They're kind of on the upper end of the price spectrum. So for my purposes, the only thing that I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around is they're about 25 to $40 more expensive 
than other barrels. Now, granted, I also understand that when you're putting a lot of these cuts into barrels, you gotta take it off the machine, put it in a different machine, and then do a different set of cuts. So the chamber, um, this cut on the chamber here might be why they're more expensive because I did look on their website and they have um, some barrels that don't have all this going on, like with the chamber cuts and everything, and they're like $169. So maybe that's why. But I do think that they're just as good as everything else I've tried. I, I, it's really hard for me to determine really what's best um, without a ransom rest. And those things are like 500 bucks and I'm not gonna go buy one because that's just retarded. And also another reason why I'm not real super interested in ransom rest testing is, you know, maybe in a secured position, you might see fractions of an inch in tighter groups. But at the end of the day, if that doesn't translate to the hand of the shooter, then what good is a ransom rest, if that makes sense? To me, I'm more interested in combat accuracy where you hit center of mass and it's gonna, a hit's a hit. But, you know, if you're a competitive shooter, you might notice the differences in match grade barrels. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Go ahead and smash that like button, leave me a comment, and, you know, we'll always have our good old time conversations just like we always do. Um, thank you guys so much for subscribing and all of your support. And just a heads up, guys, we are giving away this S3F Solutions uh, Titanium Nitride Glock 19 barrel at our Patreon page. As soon as that page hits 250 supporters, we'll be giving this away, as well as the Fab Defense KPOS. I don't have it right here, but it's basically like a Roni, just a little bit better. And uh, if it's Glock 19, Glock 17. So if you're not a Patreon supporter, you don't gotta be. But if you want a chance to win these, um, I also got tons of exclusive coupon codes that only Patreons get. So if that's something you wanna do, I appreciate it. If not, I still appreciate you. So until next time, guys, I love you. You guys stay sexy and be safe.